Is it recording? Is it recording? Oh, yeah. The button's still not red. It's there we go. Now it's recording. All right, cool. What up, everybody? It is time to do 2018 certified football uh, half case, which is six boxes, number 12 for eBay. Oh, hey, look at it. There, there it is right there on the screen, too. Look, right there. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. All right. Let's open it now. Good luck, folks. In Untero, I'm sure that's what you tell everybody. I I try to be TCU. I try. How's everything with you, TCU? College football and just football in general right around the corner, baby. All right, let's see what's in this first box right here. Well, I appreciate that, Utero. Let's see if uh, the streak continues here for you. Good luck, folks. Uh, kind of, this is annoying me. All right. Jair Alexander, the 999 Pan Packers rookie. Naheem Hines, the 249 RPA for the Colts. Everything ships, so it doesn't matter, but I do have a habit of sorting stuff. Jerome Baker, 225, raw Dolphins rookie. Josh Adams of the Eagles, certified potential auto, the 75. Very nice. Let's get this moved over here. I'll slide that and put that up. Boom. Bradley Chubb, go team, Broncos. You got Kelvin Benjamin. Let me just do all this now. Kelvin Benjamin's to four ninety nine for the Bills. My boy hoping for a Tom Brady. Oh boy. I've only hit one of them. The uh, ten out of ten. I hit like a week ago. So let's see what can what we can do for you. Colton Miller to four ninety nine Raiders rookie. Ha, look at this guy. TCU versus Ohio State for the net. Can I ask you a serious question, TCU? How many national championships does TCU have? Jack Doyle, 99 Colts. I'm not trying to poke fun or nothing. I'm just I'm curious because I, I honestly don't know. Lamar Jackson, Ravens go team. So you guys have two national championships. Okay. 90, oh, okay. 35 and 38. Ooh. Almost as long as the Dolphins have since they won a Super Bowl. Paul Horning to 50 Packers. So TCU, question. What, what do you think is going to get you guys over the hump? Because TCU has been a solid program for years. Just from what I can tell, they, they don't seem to be able to win the big games. Randy Moss, Vikings, 999. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the U has five national championships Shaquem Griffin in 99 Seahawks our last national championship came in 2001 Dak Prescott in the 99 Cowboys TCU Ryan says TCU gets uh, gets done dirty and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm putting that in PG terms because of the conference they're in. Interesting. 
Sam Darnold Jets patch there. Yeah, fit. I mean, uh, freak. If I'm not mistaken, the 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 U has five national championships. Well, maybe now with the whole college playoffs deal, some of those uh, weaker conferences can get a shot. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like the playoffs, honestly. Well, TCU, uh, I think you guys, uh, not only that, but you're gonna have to win big like dominating fashion like win every game by like 50 points like run up the score type deal i know i know i know my boys uh got in the five national championships I, I know this man we won in 83 87 89 91 and 2001 and we would have been winning uh more between 91 and 2001 if there wasn't uh that little fiasco that we had there that I shall not talk about. But hey, whatever. What are you going to do? We're going to win our sixth one this year. Sorry, TCU. Lamar Jackson to 399, Ravens. I like the playoffs. I, li I like the playoffs, you know, uh, s scenario or whatever. Lorenzo Carter, 225 Giants. Yeah, Shapiro kind of did us dirty. It's not like every other program doesn't do the exact same thing we did. We just got caught. Sam Bradford to 499 Cardinals. Nah, listen, I could take a joke, Ryan. Yeah, I could take a joke. Come on now. No need to kid around with your boy. You know, you know what they say? It's only funny because it's true. Doug Baldwin to 99 Seahawks. That's what's great about jokes is jokes are only funny if they are true. You ever notice that? Right, what do we have? Oh, that's a dummy card. I mean, yeah, the at least at least the U has come back faster than SMU. But see SMU, that's you know, there. I don't know. Cedric Wilson Jr. ninety nine Cowboys. I'm not that knowledgeable on the the SMU situation, so I can't really speak on it. Uh, Sonny Mitchell, Patriots gold team rookie. I mean, the U almost got the death penalty, man. The U almost got the death penalty, and we did it. Julius Peppers to four ninety nine Panthers. Penn State boys only have two. When's the last time Penn State won a championship? In like the 60s or something? I'm not even trying to make fun. I just, I don't know. Nice. Ron Dane bringing the pain to 50 for the Giants. Very nice. Oh, in the 90s, SMU won. Oh, okay. Now I remember what you, now I remember. It was like Eric Dickerson or something. Situations over there. Josh Allen Bills, goal team. Penn State won in 86. Jair Alexander to 499. Packers. Oh, okay. So SMU was playing payers. What? They were paying players to play for them. In the seventies and in the eighties, were SMU. I'm again. I'm. I am, and I had don't have the statistics to back this up, but I want to say with about a hundred percent accuracy that every school does that. 
Mike Ditka, Cowboys to 999. Alvin Kamara to 25, gold team for the Saints. Every team pays like their rookies or whatever to go play for them. Some just don't get caught. Fred Warner to 999, Niners. Justin Jackson to 25, Chargers. And redemption. Rashad Penny. The uh, that's the RPA right there for the Seahawks. Where's my pen? Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna get paid to go to school, then you know, driving around campus in your brand new Mercedes Benz when you claim to not be able to afford any shoes is probably not a good idea. Yeah, that, that's 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 kind of what we did TCU, except. We lost way more than just a few scholarships. We lost, bro, we lost like half of our scholarships, I want to say. We lost. I'm surprised we still have a program, really. With, with how bad we got caught, I'm surprised we still have a program. Oh, college football is almost here. And Miami's first game is against LSU. A big-time program. So we're, we're going to see if the U is back or not. I still think we're about a year or two away from being in actual national championship contention. I mean, we had a really great season last year. We didn't finish the way we would have liked to. But we had a great season last year. Under year two of the, uh, what's that dude's name again? The coach. I forget his name. But yeah, it's, this is his third season, third year of recruiting. We're starting to get more and more big name recruits here in Miami. So we'll, we'll slowly get there. We'll slowly get there. Another redemption here. Austin Pro, rookie 999 Bills. Got to uh, see what that's about later. Tom Thibodeau. No, that's definitely not his name. Coach Richt, Mark Richt. There it is. Braxton Berrio, speaking of the U, a U alumni right here. He's going to be Tom Brady's best friend this upcoming season. Braxton Berrios, the 499 Patriots. That dude catches everything you throw his way. The kid's a beast. Tom Brady's going to love him. Kiki Kuti, 299 Texans. Josh Rosen, gold team. Cardinals. Khalil Mack, 225 Raiders. Braxton Berrios was a stud at the U. It's a shame we couldn't win, like, a, a bowl for his senior year. Paul Horn on to 99 Packers. Melvin Gordon in 99 Chargers. Freak, you don't even got to put all that out there, bro. I think everybody knows that the 2001 Miami Hurricane team is the greatest college team ever assembled. And there's no, like, it's not even up for debate. Deion Kane in 99 Colts. Do my hair like Deion Kane. But I would have to cut the sides off. I'm not going to do that. I was considering getting braids, but, like, I don't like braids. I don't like braids. I like playing with my hair. Josh Allen Bills, gold team. You know how they twirl my hair and stuff like that? Deion Kane, a 50 for the Colts. A 
Okay, so then let's do this way. Keenan Allen to 499 Chargers. Deion Kane, man, a lot of rookies out for the year. Darius Geis, I think, is out for the year. Saquon Barkley got hurt at practice the other day. Well, he's not out for the year, but still. Ty Montgomery at 49, dual relic for the Packers. A lot of rooks getting injured. What's that about? Warren Sapp to 499 bucks. A lot of rookies getting hurt. Oh, I'm down with the mosh pits, uh, <laughs> Kels. <laughs> uh, to 399 DJ Chark, Jaguars patch. All right, let's see what the redemption's about. A Hayden Hurst would be the RPA. Hayden Hurst goes to the Ravens. All right, we're halfway through. Box four right here. Penny also got hurt at practice yesterday. Man, what's going on? I Again, I don't know what is going on, but I feel like they're, they're overworking the rookies, man. Uh, either that or they're just not in shape. They're right, trying too hard. Maybe they're pushing the rookies too much, man. You know, one of our receivers, Devontae Parker, got, you know, he broke his finger uh, yesterday in practice. So, yeah, I, ha I hadn't heard about the about Penny getting hurt until you mentioned it, Utero. Might want to slow the roll with the rookies, you know, ease them in, ease them in. Right, we have Sebastian Janikowski, Relic to 149. And here. Taekwon Lewis to 99 Colts. Calvin Ridley, gold team for the Falcons. I stubbed my toe this morning. <laughs> So we got Kells on the injured reserve list. Right? That's that's another one I was going to bring up. Badlidge got tossed out of the huddle for not uh, picking up his block. Tannehill was like, get out of here, rookie. Dan Deardorff to 999 Cardinals. I like it, though. That's, that's how it should be. You got to protect your quarterback, bro. Especially Kalen Badlidge. He's a big boy. Get in there and block, man. Rashawn Evans to a 999 rookie Titans, especially Tannehill. You know, we, they, bro, we got that guy. That dude is like Mr. Glass or something. Dalvin Cook to 499 Vikings. Is that a true story, Melton? Uh, Utero, yes. Tannehill is a joke. I, I agree. As much as I hate to. Gallup. Of the Cowboys patch the 399. That's true. Rookies have been at camp or OTAs or whatever longer than the veterans. But, uh, you know, they're also pushing themselves a little too hard, man. They're pushing themselves a little too hard. You know, the dog days right now of the NFL. You, 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 it sucks to say, but, you know, you don't have to go 100% in practice. At least not during the preseason. Jarvis Landry, 499 Browns. You know, go like 80. Go like 80%. Oh, dude, Jarvis Landry's a beast, and it pains me that he left us, especially when he wanted to play for the Dolphins. But, you know, for whatever reason, it just it, it didn't work out. So the Browns, I think, definitely got a dude that's going to help change the culture out there because Jarvis Landry is a beast. Minka to 999 Dolphins. 
There we go. An RPA to 99 for the Steelers. James Washington. Boom. Yeah, don't remind me about Jay Cutler. We don't we don't speak of Jay Cutler in this room. That's what he does, TCU. Like that's what he does. The only, and I mean the only, well, there's two knocks on Jarvis Landry. One of them is he's not fast. He's he's just, he's quick as hell, but that doesn't mean he's fast. Jarvis Landry is not fast. Linebackers cannot run that guy. So there's that. And the second knock is he's a bit of a hothead. You know, he he does have a habit of, you know, letting opponents get under his skin getting penalties that affect negatively affect the team but yeah Tony Mitchell Patriots goal team still hurts for me to see him go Landon Collins the 99 Giants up whoever's throwing the ball Baker Mayfield or Tyrod Taylor it don't matter throw it to Landry and he will catch it and he will turn that thing upfield and he'll get He'll get some yards after the catch because that's just what he does, man. That guy's a beast. Jordan Lazley is 75, Ravens. In my opinion, he is the best slot receiver in the game. You think Baker Mayfield is going to be the starting quarterback for the Bears? I mean... <sighs> I mean, the Browns. I like Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor's solid quarterback. By year's end, my man predict. So what week? What week are you predicting, TCU? Because I think, I think, honestly, I think the Browns have potential to possibly win the division. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but let's honestly look at the division. I guess you could say the Steelers are the best team. Currently, Steelers have, their defense is just, like, terrible. Steelers standards, their defense is terrible. Right now, that team is built to outscore you, like the Patriots. So, the Steelers, in my opinion, aren't as big a threat as they used to be. The Bengals are the Bengals. Enough said about that. And uh, what's the other team in their division? The Ravens. The Ravens, not as great as they used to be either. So, I think the AFC North is up for grabs, really. I really think it's up for grabs. Browns have way too much talent. They just need a coach to put it together. Hugh Jackson needs to get fired like yesterday. Promote Todd Haley or something, but Hugh Jackson is not a good coach. Not a good coach. You need to get that guy out of there. Fred Warner to 999. Rookie for the for the Niners. Hayden Hurst to 299. RPA right there. Ravens coming up a little bit. I like Tyrod, though. I like Tyrod. I think the Browns are winning over eight games this year. Well, somebody's got to give him a chance. David Johnson, uh, to 25 Cardinals. Hey, we got some good stuff in Miami, too, y'all boys. For the Bills... Josh Allen, 8 out of 10. That's nice. That is nice. Nice hit right there for the Bills. Calvin really gold team, Falcons. Ty Law of the Patriots to 499. Well, well, Kirk Cousins, man. It would have been nice for the Dolphins to make a move on him. Because I am not a fan of Tannehill. I'm predicting it already. He's going to get hurt again this year. And it's going to be the exact same knee that he's been hurting for like the past two seasons. 
Work done. 1099 Falcons. DJ Moore, gold team, Panthers. Cedric Wilson Jr., Cowboys rookie, 999. AJ Green of the Bengals to 499. Last stack here. AB to 50. Antonio Brown. Two color patch for the Steelers. Lee Van Der Eich, Cowboys to 25. Well, yeah, exactly, Utero. That's that's probably why. Because he sucks. <laughs> that is, you know, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks. The, you know, think so. He's way too inconsistent. He's just way too inconsistent. James Washington, Steelers patch. I mean, it pains me to say he's he's the best quarterback we've had in like over ten years, which is not saying much really. But I mean, he's just way too inconsistent. Way too inconsistent. Tanner Lee of the Jaguars to 499. Rookie. Boom, boom, boom. And now, last box mojo. Why do you hate LeBron James? Like, that's. I don't understand that one. I mean, I kind of understand, but, like, why? Culpepper was garbage with the Dolphins. We had him for, like, two seasons after his knee, after his knee injury or whatever, and we had our choice. We could have signed Culpepper, or we could have signed Drew Brees, and Drew Brees was coming off a shoulder surgery, a really nasty one at that. And uh, Drew Brees is still playing. You know, won a Super Bowl with the Saints. I'm not saying that could have been the Dolphins, but damn it, we could have at least had a franchise quarterback with uh, with with Brees. Uh, yes, Ty. Yes, we are. And we are working overtime to catch up. Yeah, Drew Brees could have changed the franchise with us. But, I mean, it is what it is. Because, like, we could have had Drew Brees, and then he could have hurt his his shoulder when he came to Miami, and then Culpepper in this alternate universe would have gone to the Saints. His knee would have been perfect. He would have balled out and won a Super Bowl with them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, those questions are really... I, I agree, Fitz. Like, you can't really, can't really answer those questions. But I can tell you why I hate Tom Brady. Tom Brady, because he's a little bitch. That's why. Lamar Jackson, the 299 patch for the Ravens. I hate him because he's so good. That's 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 what it boils down to. And I think that's why you hate LeBron James, Kells. Because uh cuz he's so damn good. At least at least I can admit why I hate Tom Brady. Cuz he's just so damn great. And my team sucks. Jerick McKinnon 225 Niners. So, you know, at least there's reasoning for my hatred. Mark Walton! I, I really like this kid. I think he has potential to be like this year's Alvin Kamara. Just come out of nowhere and surprise everybody and be a beast. You know, I, I've said it before and I've said it again. Mark Walton was the leading rusher up until he got hurt in the entire nation. I'm telling you, Chris Fitz, this kid is going to be a beast. I'm telling you. Book it. Oh, what's up, Jimbo? I know you love me. By the way, how's the puppy doing, bro? Brady's been caught cheating, too, but still, F that guy, bro. Lorenzo Carter, 499 Giants. How dare he have a super bottle wife 
And just, just so, such a great play. Like, how dare he be so great? How dare he? Antonio Callaway to 25 for the Browns. Didn't this kid get cut by the Browns? Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I mean, that's a different time, uh, Utero. You know, it's it's really difficult to compare eras because of that reason. It was just it was a different time. They played a different game. You know, truth be told, basketball back then was not really basketball. It was a mixture of basketball and like football. They traded Callaway. That's what it was. Bradshaw Steelers to nine nine nine. You know, so it's 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 really did like imagine if Jordan played in today's era. He would probably average like 70 points a game. Then again, he wouldn't be able to play the defense he used to play because, you know, let's call it what it is. You know, Michael Jordan used to grab you and then just ride you the entire time. You know, hand checking and all that other stuff. Can't do none of that now. So it's it's a double-edged sword kind of deal. Uh, Carson Wentz, Eagles goal team. I think the Eagles are going to repeat this. And they're, I really like their system, man. Their coach, uh, old Dougie boy, he knows his football, man. Le'Veon Bell to 499. Steelers, Steelers, pay this man. Oh, yeah, Gary Payton would not be the glove. You know what I mean? Like, Rodman would not be as great as he was back in the day. Pippen, like... All the great defensive players from yesteryear would not be as amazing if they played in this era. And, you know, the the opposite is true. Like, LeBron James would probably not be as dominating if he played, you know, back in Jordan's era or whatever. But these are all questions that we kind of we kind of ask each other for entertainment. Austin Pro to 99 Bills. Nice Chubb. Bradley Chubb to 149. RPA for the Broncos. Very nice. Uh, no, Binga. It did not. We don't have the case. We have to order it. We have to order it. So we cannot... Uh, cannot break it. We have to order it. Yeah, back in the day, it was no blood, no foul. And that's that's honestly... that's That's how we played in the streets. No blood, no foul. And it was like that for a while. Truth is, it's it's still that way, really. In the streets, anyway. You right about that one, though, Francisco. The Finns going to take it all the way this year. Where we're going, I'm not sure. But, you know, they'll, they'll take us all the way somewhere. I still play that way, you know, when I play pickup games at the gym or whatever. and Because I, I have been hitting the gym, y'all boys. Uh, yeah, Binga, I will. I'm actually going to sit. I'm going to send emails out after this is done to everyone in that break. And I'll keep you guys updated with that stuff. Uh, Terrell Davis Broncos insert there. And last but not least, Dalton Schultz to 25. Autograph for the boys, the Cowboys. Exactly to misery. They're gonna they're gonna lead us to misery. Jimmy Garoppolo, Niners go team, and that, my friends, is the break. So let's recap it. So patches first. We got uh, Walton Bengals three ninety nine, Jackson Ravens two ninety nine, Washington Steelers, Brown Steelers fifty, Gallup Cowboys three ninety nine. Janikowski Raiders 149, Chark Jaguars 399, Montgomery Packers 49, Baldwin Seahawks 99, Jackson Ravens 399, Darnold Jets and Jack Doyle Cowboys. Autographs. We have two redemptions. Freshman Fabric Mirror signature for Hayden Hurst of the Ravens and Freshman Fabric Mirror Red signature for Rashad Penny Seahawks. We got a Dalton Schultz to 25 Cowboys. A Josh Allen, 8 out of 10 for the Bales. Jordan Lasley, Ravens to 75. Kiki Kuti of the Texans to 99. Ron Dane, Giants to 50. Josh Adams of the Eagles to 75. 
RPAs, we got Bradley Chubb, Broncos 149. Hayden Hurst, Ravens 299. All right, TC, you have a good one, bro. Uh, James Washington, Steelers 99. Naheem Hines, Colts 249. And that, my friends, was the break. 2018 Certified Football, six boxes, number 12, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.